Thank you for attending the training on the Business eTouch CRM Commission Reporting feature. This is one of our newest features and we're really proud of it. To access the Commission Reporting, you just click on the Contact Manager tab and then you're going to open up any contacts window and click on Custom Information. From the custom information tab, you'll see right at the top, it says add commission tracking. This is going to add a commission tracking section that will already have predetermined fields to that commission tracking section. So when you click that, you'll be able to scroll down and you'll be able to find your commission tracking. And you'll notice here, I've got commission tracking in here three different times. So this would allow me to put in three different policies or three different sales for every single one of my customers because of course this loads into every single customer's custom information area. And then from here, you've got a drop down window for the company, um, the product, the amount of the sale, commission percentage, date sold, payout schedule, which is weekly, quarterly, or single pay um, and then you also have an advance where you can take advance commissions up to show up to a 12 month advance commission and then you have a stop after so if you were uh, taking a monthly payout that was going to pay for say six months and then stop you'd be able to stop it after that amount of time for our insurance customers this system will keep track of your residual income. So if you're getting paid a monthly commission on something you've sold, you can very easily uh, do that using the payout schedule, which would be monthly, obviously, and then stop after however many months. And uh, if you're getting an advance commission, of course, you can choose the advance. When you choose an advance, say for instance, if I was to do an advance commission of six months and choose monthly pay here it would show in the in this month it would show a advance of six months in this month's pay and then for five more months it would show nothing on the seventh month it would start showing monthly so it's real versatile as far as how it's going to track how you're getting paid let me go to a customer that I have in here and I can show you how we've put in the commissions for him. So here you can see we've choose, chosen an insurance company name here of AIG. The name of the product is The Great Term. The amount of the sale was for $50,000. And the commission percentage is 5%. And the sold date we have in there, and then monthly payout, uh, and um, there's no advance, no stop after. And so you've got the information in there. And this was here, just to give you an idea, this was a field that we added that was a paid date field, just so that I could have that information if I wanted it. So you can add fields to this, but you can't delete any. So give you an idea. And so now we've got the commission filled in. We'll go over to the commission report. And this just pulls up the commission. You can see we're in the month of February here. You can see I've got a total commission for the month. We've got the name of the company. Here you've got AIG. Down here you have Blue Cross. Then you have the name of the product, a breakdown by product, and then also a breakdown by customer. So you've got your all your commissions broken down in the system by uh, to giving you a total, the name of the company, the name of the product, and the name of the customer, and those commissions associated with those. So you have the total. And you can see here we're in February. I can go forward a month into March, click Done, and here's the March commissions that are showing. Um, we could go all the way out if we wanted, say go down to September, Click Run, and here is the commission showing for September. So it'll keep track of your ASERN commissions and uh, give you a running total as to what you have all the time. And that's really all there is to it. If you have any further questions, 
feel free to give us a call at 406-558-4093, extension 2 is customer service, or uh, you might be able to catch me at extension 4. Thanks a lot and have a great day.